Hi, I'm Les Shaw. And hi, I'm Deb Cormier. And welcome to the Computer Mechanics Reload It. This is one of those shows that are very special. This is where one of Deb's dreams comes true. Now, I know she thought she had that happen when we first met, but oh. it's going to be even more exciting today because today on the show, Deb is going to get a glimpse at... A towel. <laughs> well, we have a special <laughs> gift for Deb underneath here because we're going to take a look at a new kind of a system, the one that you've been, I'm not going to say whining... Kicking and screaming for. Kicking and for, screaming for. And not and getting. We have a Someone special guest. Me? A co-worker of ours will be on the show today. Yes. And we're going to take a look at the wonderful iMac or oh, Mac, yeah. is that what it's called? Yeah, the iMac. And uh, we're going to show some wonderful things that it can do. Mm -hmm. um, plus, Steve's going to be on a show showing it because none of us know how to use it. Can I peek yet? Also, Deb's going to find out what wonderful invention we have underneath here for her. But as we do I'm that... I'm sure I will be totally amazed. Let's hit the safety news of the week, yes. okay? Uh, we also got a viewer's question. Yes. Safety news of the week, big thing. We've had a numerous amount of recalls on people that have notebooks. Mm -hmm. We're talking any notebook that has a Sony battery. Yeah, from battery manufacturers. So we've had Apple recall, we've had a Dell recall, mm -hmm. and we've Toshiba. had a Toshiba recall. So if you have any of these notebooks, you have to hit the manufacturer's website, mm -hmm. which would be www.apple.com, mm -hmm. www.toshiba.com, and www.dell.com. And somewhere on their website, it should allow you to go and key a serial number, maybe right off your off battery. battery. Yeah. yeah. You know, a big thing to look for is look to see if it says Sony. Now, as I did a search, itself. I did a search for these, right, Deb? You, you did. And <laughs> you I came actually up came up with... Funny uh, little clips. You know, it's, it's a serious matter, but it I is. actually came up with this one for a TV show from Australia. Also this week, yes. a safety warning, a Dell laptop exploded and burst into flames during a conference in Japan. Yeah, not the first time that's happened either. No, no, no but Dell says that's that 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 won't happen again. And finally, Craig, back home, the Reserve Bank put up interest rates... <laughs> <laughs> Just to note, that was a comedy sketch, <laughs> yeah, but hopefully yeah. it brings across the seriousness <laughs> yeah. of making sure... They did that sure for a joke, but no, it's a serious it is, issue. You know, and I actually had just looked it up on their website. Yeah. Now, as we're going out, you're going to give me a countdown there in a second. Mm -hmm. I want to play this other little funny one that we had found, and uh, Dub loved it. <laughs> and I'm going to play it here. I clicked on it. Go, oh, yeah. go, go, that's, go. That's a good one. It? That's a good one. This is, gonna, this is going to tie hurry. in the whole show if I can make it happen. Hurry. I can't make it happen. Oh. I'll have to play when we come back. <laughs> it's one of those things that's just not loading for me you right failed. now. failed. When we're we done. come back, we're going to take a look at a Mac. Winning with Weights promotes a healthy lifestyle for everyone. Whether your goal is to lose weight, build muscle, or just keep fit, Bernice will keep you motivated. Join us for brand new episodes of Winning with Weights only on Rogers Television, Durham Region. OHL Primetime on Rogers Television. Don't miss Erie at Oshawa, Friday, October 20th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, could I get a refill? Please. Luke, show the class your drawing. Free Preview Weekend. Where will you be? Hi, and we're back again. Uh, coming back, we basically are going to go over a question that we received from a viewer from Bill. Hi, Bill. Yes, I'm here. Okay, so we have Bill with us. Basically, Bill's question was, 
that every once in a while he likes to employ the disk cleanup. I'm going to show everybody where that can happen. But Bill, what is, what's the problem you're having when you run the disk cleanup now? Well, it, it, when I, I, I ask for a disk cleanup and the calculating window comes on, mm -hmm. the sliding scale operates to say that it's calculating the amount to be erased. And then the next window that comes up is the disk cleanup for the C disk. And on there, there are a number of categories. And mm -hmm. the one I usually look to, uh, to erase is temporary internet files. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I got 9,115 KB. I'm not very computer illiterate, so I know what wow. KB means. But I got 9,115 KBs. Uh, I hit the OK to erase those. And then it asks me, are you sure you want to perform these actions? I say yes. Mm -hmm. The next uh, window that comes up, again, is that uh, a sliding scale to show the degree of erasure as it's taking place, but there's no erasure. Okay. The screen just pops up and then goes away. Goes away. And right now my screen is gone again. Okay. And I go back to this cleanup and nothing has happened. It says they're still there. Says they're still there. Okay. There's a couple options that we can do to try and what it normally means is there's some files that Windows is having a problem erasing. Okay. And because uh, they're in use. And because either they're in use or they're just really large files mm -hmm. and Windows in the method that you're trying to clean them up just won't work with that function. Okay. Because they're temporary internet files, there's a couple options we have here to try and get rid of them. One of the options is to actually launch Internet Explorer. And, and I'll do it here as well, so you'll be able to see this on the air when it airs. I think this one airs next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Next Wednesday? Next, next week, Wednesday. Yeah. And I'll make sure I send you over an email as to when it airs, as well as it's going to go up online so you'll be able to see oh, good, the good, answer. Good, 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 because I was trying to write this stuff down. That's great. Okay, <laughs> so what's going to happen is this. The first thing we're going to try and do is try and delete the, uh, the temporary internet files manually. Manually. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do it, there's two options. One, you launch Internet Explorer. You're going to click on Tools, Internet Options, and right there you're going to tell it to delete files. Delete there's a, temporary there's a files. big button that says delete yeah. files. Mm -hmm. And once you delete those files, it should remove enough files out of your Windows temporary so you can continue using the disk cleanup in the future. Okay. So we're going to go into the Internet Explorer and tell it to delete the files there. If you still have that problem, there is a fix on Microsoft's website as well that I found. And it is about what happens when the disk tool um, doesn't work effectively. Right. So if you go to Microsoft's website and you want to go under support and look uh -huh. up under, under the knowledge base, under the knowledge base, if you type in disk cleanup, it will give you some other options that are actually a little bit more drastic. You have to go into the registry and change some files. Ooh. Yeah, not for the faint of heart. Not industry. for the faint of heart. Right. The last option, okay. I'm, I'm very faint of heart. I'm a neophyte. <laughs> okay. Well, that, and that it actually says disk cleanup tool stops responding, and it's not blaming it on your temporary internet files, but it's blaming it on your compressed files. Okay. So, and now I, I noticed also that in that list, it does have 131 KBs of compressed old files, whatever, oh. whatever they are. Okay. So I'll tell you what I have been able to do, and in order to be able to manually get rid of some of this stuff, uh, I hit view files, and it allows me to view the files that are partially, that belong to this temporary internet files, and I get a, another screen called content IE5, yeah. which shows a whole pile of windows, all of which are identified by a various code, which apparently is something that my wife or I have brought up during email. And I'm able to delete almost all of those windows with the exception of one called index. Okay, the index is part of the Windows files, yeah, and that's why you can't it. delete mm -hmm. that one. Okay. Yeah. It's but a system file, so it prevents you from actually deleting it. Right. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure because it's locking up with temporary internet files, huh? and 9,000 KB represents 9 megabytes. Mm -hmm. okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to manually delete them using Internet Explorer. You launch Internet Explorer, you go Tools, Option, and right on that very first screen it says Delete Files. That should remove them, and that should allow you to continue using your disk cleanup. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, okay. Give that a shot, and you shouldn't have any problems. Email us how it goes, and we'll stay with you to make sure the problem's resolved. Okay, I'll hang in there now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be I, I tried to write all this down. But okay. So you're you're going to hear this next Wednesday? 
It will be airing next Wednesday. Next Wednesday at eight thirty, I believe. We'll 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 send you an email with, with I'll the send instructions you an email so back. before okay, that. Okay, make sure you send me an email because I'm going to hang in there next Wednesday so I can watch it on the screen and then do it that way. Okay. <laughs> and because, also, uh, I, I'm 73. My wife is 69. We're not very bright about this stuff. You know Aww. what? I think you're brighter than most because you got a computer. That's okay? right. Okay. <laughs> we'll right. talk to you shortly, and I'll make sure I email you a correspondence. Thank you very very much for your help. Thank Thanks you, very Bill. much for being a part of the show. Thank you. Bye Have bye. a great night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're going to hang that up, Steve. 73? 73. Isn't that awesome? You know, I That's had a lady awesome. come in the store this week, and she had an older computer, and she says, well, do I really need a newer computer? I'm an older lady. Yeah. And I thought that was just the wrong thing to say. Seniors get on computers, and nobody on the Internet knows how old wasn't you are. It wasn't the wrong thing to say. It was the, wrong, young it's the wrong way of thinking. Let's move on. Okay? <laughs> Before I've you get on. in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because you're all excited about this. And this was the clip that I wanted to play before we left the first segment. We might as well look at this before we start because we're going to introduce our Mac guy. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that will happen today, but I thought that fell right along oh, with our show today. That's and I want funny. to introduce our Mac guy because I guess I'm going to start off by saying that I'm a Mac. No, you're no, not a PC. And I'm a PC. I, and I'm a Mac. Yeah, he's a Mac. And Dev? I'm a... I'm a... Oh, I'm a VIC-20! Dev's a VIC-20 today! <laughs> I'm a, look at that! Where did you guys find Steve that? Steve found it! Oh, no way! So wait I want to welcome wait, Steve, wait, wait. everybody. Steve Besky. Yeah, that's right. Pronounced Steve Besky. Besky. Yep. Look. Steve's been working with us for a long oh, time, so you know, a trusted gosh. friend. There it is. There we go. Now, isn't this a powerhouse? Oh. Okay, I fib. There's no wireless on here or anything like that, but if we're going to compare three systems, I guess this is the I, best I hope way you, to do I it. I really hope you don't think this is going to take place in one of those. No, but you know no. what? Next week, we're going to be talking about Deb's new machine, but we're going to talk now about what Deb, what machine Deb wants. Yeah. So I'm going to flick this <laughs> over, and let's begin our conversation. Have a look at the Mac. Steve, we're looking at what? What are we looking at? What wonderful thing are we well, seeing here? Well, this is the iMac G5, and this is one of the many different upgrades you can actually get off the <gasps> Apple site or oh. Apple store. Oh, isn't that lovely? What and size is this one? This is the one of three sizes. This is the iMac 20-inch screen. Oh, that's the 20-inch. Yeah, so it can come in either 17-inch, uh -huh. 20, and they just came out with the new 24-inch yes, iMac screen. Yes, I saw that. And that just came out right after I bought it, so I was kind Didn't of, that kind get of upset you. about that. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's it's a gigantic screen. Oh, it, it's it is. Plenty, it's plenty it's absolutely room. gorgeous. So, what can this thing do? I mean, I want one of these so well, bad. It can, it can do the same thing as a PC. It's yeah. It's a lot, I find it's a lot crisper, a mm -hmm. lot faster, and a lot mm -hmm. easier to work with. The the picture quality on it is just, oh, it's, it's awesome. amazing. It's okay, awesome. But, but knowing Steve, Steve's machine breaks down more than anybody's <laughs> machine I've known. How many times has this broken this down? This hasn't broken down it, once. No, one, one, nothing. No. Steve has blown up video cards <laughs> and, and all kinds of stuff. But with this system, so like, is it, it's actually an Intel chip inside this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just not to about a few months ago, uh, Intel started making chips for Mac and it's yes. the Intel dual core yes. okay, so chips inside, yeah. And now this machine also could run XP if you wanted to, but why would you want it to run XP? Now, how do you launch because programs and stuff on it? I mean, I'm looking because at... Because it can. I, okay. yeah. I mean, we're all excited about this. We got our first Mac on yeah. there, thanks to Steve. I don't see a start bar. How do I start yeah, applications? Well, like, unlike PCs, most, de most icons are on the desktop, but uh, Macs mostly have all their uh, navigation oh. and desktop icons Damn, on the bottom so it keeps away from cluttering on your desktop and Sweet. you can just click and drag programs down here saves you a lot of clutter and everything how can you, you know, not all like programs that are down here as we go through all the computer. icons 90 percent of those icons are icons that you would see on a pc mm -hmm. i see firefox i see yeah. i see vlc it's which allows a, you to play videos I, I hate to tell you but yeah. matt came out with all those icons first well i mean i see limewire <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. the other ones that came with the mac called iLife and there's iweb and then there's also uh, iPhoto. Wow. And then there's also, I believe, iDVD or iVideo on here as well, which allows you to make TV. That is just videos. so cool. Are the there any Windows programs that you can run on this? Windows? Like programs? Office or. Yeah, there's actually there's an Office made for Mac. Sweet. And it's the exact same. It is, right? Yeah. So wow. You'll have to buy it. 
What's this? <laughs> that is something that I didn't even know about until I uh, talked to my friend. That? that is the remote for what we call the Mac front front row. Mm -hmm. And I can just do a little demonstration for you. I'll press the menu button on yeah. here. Wow. Oh, look at and that. And that just pretty much turns your Mac into uh, entertainment center. That is just sweet. So you can go through all your photos that you've uploaded in yeah. I, iLibrary yeah. or iPhoto. DVDs. DVDs. Wow. Videos that you already have downloaded on there and yeah. also your music. So if you want to play music, we'll hit the play button. Wow. Your little iPod looks, or your little remote yeah, it looks, looks it look, like, an kind of like, yeah, like an iPod. We're going to pause for a moment. When we come back, we got more Mac to keep Deb happy. Woohoo! Things Durham with Durham Living, a fun-filled and informative half-hour magazine show that travels your community, profiling local attractions, restaurants, and places of historical significance. Take the journey with Durham Living on Rogers Television, Durham Region. Eye on Durham is brought to you by DurhamRegion.com. Hi folks, I'm Sharon Lindsay. Coming up this week, can't get enough of CSI? Think you can rival Horatio and Kaylee into solving DNA evidence? meet up with other sleuths to discuss various methods of collecting fingerprinting and DNA. Constable David Robertson will help you crack the case. In the theme of solving mysteries, what's the connection between six words you never knew had something to do with pigs and the Canadian Oxford Dictionary? Let Catherine Barber help you solve the puzzle. And if you like watching Swap Shop, you'll love this one day item swap. This community reuse day is the epitome of one person's trash is another's treasure. For more events, log on to DurhamRegion.com. I'm Sharon Lindsay for Ion Durham. Thanks for watching. Ion Durham was brought to you by DurhamRegion.com, Durham Region's information source. It is not going to be a workout Wednesday. We're not working out for the first time. In fact, we're barbecuing tailgate style. That's right, so we're eating, but from food to animals, we have furry friends from the Bowmanville Zoo all in the next daytime. <laughs> And we're back again. Now, I'm excited. Deb, you <laughs> and Steve have been talking about that. When he brought mm -hmm. it in, you, you melt it. Oh, yeah. Okay, more than the yeah. Big 20, which I mm -hmm. thought was going to have a great surprise. But uh -huh. when yeah. we left, you guys were talking about music and stuff. Like, how we does were. it sound? How does what? Well, I mean, Mac, most Macs come with built-in speakers, so you can watch videos. And Are they any good? Oh, they're, they're, Seriously? they're surprisingly loud. Yeah. I can play some. I'll just go cool. through. Uh, right on. Go Look at that. Everything's done from the remote. That's awesome. You know. And then I can just choose, uh, I'll go Now Tupac. these are all of your CDs that you've ripped down, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All, all the CDs, yeah, <laughs> everything's all Who's legal. Who's Tupac? <laughs> Sorry? Tupac? I saw a Tupac. He would be a, a rapper. Yeah, he's a rapper. Okay. And so I can Was just a rapper. play back in black here from mm -hmm. ACDC. Wow. And you can control volume from the remote as well. Oh, sweet. Nice. So it's pretty loud. Nice. Oh, check that out. That's oh, pretty wow. good. That's pretty good. There you go. Yeah, so you can just... That's nice. Well, that and you can awesome. do the same with videos. Watch videos on their DVDs. You pop in cool. from the side. So it'll play a DVD. Actually, it'll play a DVD. You don't yeah, have to load any software. Yeah, there's a DVD slot on the side here. So, and actually, not that we're going to nice. put one in. I happen to have... So if I take this... Now, I know we only play a segment. There's no copyright there. I mean, if they want to see a little cable <laughs> show going on here, just to, to show what's happening. Hey, you never yeah. know. I don't want to actually put that in, but show us where it would go in on the side there. Yeah, it's, it's just on the side, just right, like right there. Yeah. Just put it in? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just nothing. automatically. There we go. Wow. And this is a CD. We did buy the CD Team America. You saw that one. We can just press yeah, the menu did. button to go back. We'll get on the music here. And then I'll just switch over oh, to I love this. I'm just playing the song it's still at the same time. This. Love so, it. Uh oh. Dude, oh. Oh, it might not like that. Insert I, might have to, I might have to stop the music here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to show that going again, right? You're a, um, oh, you're a student at Durham College. Yes. And you're taking multimedia, correct? Multimedia design, yes. Okay, so now is this something that you need for your courses? You don't necessarily need an iMac for your course, but mm -hmm. I personally would like it since we've been using our Mac PowerBooks 
Mac laptops for the third year now. So it only makes sense. It only makes sense to go with what you're using, so I'm familiar with it. Okay. You know, it's so amazing that Macs tend to be the, lar the largest option on well, on when it comes down to systems and so forth. Well, they're, they're made for doing exactly what Steve is into, the multimedia stuff and all that. So that's what they're actually made for. Okay, so I mean, that's what, it, now it's playing this right now. Now what we're trying to do is to show how the CD actually goes in. Can mm -hmm. we eject that? I saw an eject right there. And we want to get kind of a view. I don't, we don't want to turn the computer because we've got all the shots all mm -hmm. set. Let's try and eject Let's that one eject if we that. can. All right, let me give it a shot here. And I'm it'll come sure out right can... on the side, right? Yeah. It's not going to hit me in the eye, is it? So we are going to eject this. Eject it. <laughs> Catch it, babe. There we go. I was working now, on it. Now we have the file, so when the CDs come out, it's kind of yep. popped out here. Mm -hmm. We're all set with that. So it plays DVDs. One of the things this does that they keep saying is better than a Mac happens to be playing, vi capturing your photos. Yeah. Um, video. Video. Yeah. Um, but there's another thing that I saw in here was quite neat. You can make comic books on this. Yeah. One program that I was really surprised to know about that came on with the Mac is called. Uh, Comic Life, and I'll just bring it up here for you. So, have you actually made any of these? I have. Mm -hmm. um, they're just a bunch of me and my friends going quick. out one night, and um, you can. There's different templates you can drag. So I can just drag in a basic comic book. Oh, cool! And all you do is from your uh, pictures. So you can put your real photos in here. From pictures, you can just click and drag, and put it in. Wow! And you can add. Uh, you can add captions if you want. Like, no way! You can add. That's like, too cool. Big, you can type in like BAM and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TCM, and you can oh, make it right bigger, on. and you can move around everything. So it's pretty much a pretty big interactive wow. your own comic book. Look at so that! So I guess as an artist, and I've seen some of the stuff you've done. So I really think you know you're an artist. So I've seen mm -hmm. the, the the character here you've yeah, done yourself. Yeah, we've seen some the of his work is really good. So are you saying that if I'm an artist or I want to be really creative, that not to go with the PC, that you're finding the Mac does a lot more? I find it is. I mean, it's all totally up to user preference. But I mean, I find Mac is a lot better for everyday things and a lot better for design. Okay. Now, what about gaming? You run into a wall when you're if there, you're a gamer? There is a bit of a wall there, but th the games that do come out for Mac are pretty much all the newer games, so yeah. all anybody playing newer games, you can get them out for Mac. Right on. And I think you can get Guild Wars and stuff for, for yeah, Mac. Okay? Yeah. You said Doom yeah. you're playing. Doom I was playing actually play? um, Quake 4 that I, I got a demo off of it, and um, I put it on high resolution, and it plays seamlessly. It, com right it comes through. with a I believe it's an ATI uh, X1600 256 nice. meg PCI Express. Okay, I love card. ATI, I so I mean, that so makes it happy for me I there. Know. Video's not a problem. How about the that. internet? We should have you plugged in. I believe yeah. you have you yeah, plugged into plugged in. Ethernet. Yeah. We can just close this here. So if we go and surf on the net, now I see that Firefox is loaded. Firefox. Does, and does it come with a browser of its own? Yeah. Mac has its own browser called Safari, Safari RSS. Okay. And now it's basically a, a kind of a load low down version of Internet Explorer. Cool, yeah, yeah. It's and it acts the same way. Right on. So Internet works the exact same way. And one thing I noticed about this one, it actually comes with built-in wireless. Mm. Okay. So even if you don't have a cable, you can be up in your room and connect up wirelessly to your wi wireless router. Nice. So when you got the computer, it came, and basically the monitor's built in, so you don't need the extra monitor. Yeah. You get the keyboard mouse. I see a USB port yep, off of here. there's two USBs in the keyboard. So wow. regular USB flash drives would work with this to yep. be able to store your data on it. Any drawbacks you see versus the PC world, or this just handles all your needs? Nothing. I've, I, everything on my Mac, I can, I, I can do on my, or everything on my PC, I can do with my Mac. Hmm. Okay. And there are actually some features with my Mac that I can't do with my PC. One of the other yeah. things, so when you go off the website, you can play, I saw Firefox loaded as yeah. well. Firefox allows you again to surf the internet. Yeah. Can you run more browser. than one application? It doesn't. I don't know. Does you it? can you can run as many programs as you want. I can, oh, so this comes up on everything. Mm -hmm. I can bring up iTunes. I can bring up Firefox. I can wow. bring up Comic Life. I'll bring up Microsoft Word. How about editing video? I it works great. A program right down here called iDVD. So it actually has a FireWire card on it as yeah. well. Built FireWire has two or three, I believe, three USBs in the back. Yeah. And two on the keyboard. Okay. And it comes with a mini DV DV port. So that's how you plug your actual video camera wow. into the system, so you can record the data right on it. And if you also have one of the many, like the 30-inch Mac monitors, you can buy it. Plug into, you can plug it into this and. 
um, expand yeah, into two it's monitors. It's a dual monitor. Yeah. yeah. So, so for video wow. editing, it's a really good That's very benefit sure. as well. Cool. Now, I guess my other question then, if you can do the video and so forth, one thing I've noticed, you can't really output this to a larger monitor. Yeah, that's one thing, but there is actually other tools you can buy off the Mac website and other distributors that allow you to do that. So then you can play it on a big LCD like we do with the, the, yeah. the PC and so forth. I mean, video editing, capturing your photos, well, you know one of the big things? What about, uh, well, I like some of the, the templates that this thing comes with as well. Very cool. This is something that you create a template with so you can grab your videos and put them into those yeah, different types of templates. Just drop in a picture and it'll just make, do its own animation. Nice. Big thing here, guys. I mean, I can get a PC now with the monitor for well under $1,000. How powerful, I don't know. Let's, let's say go with your PC for under $2,000 if you beg certain companies to give you free memory. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at this one? Who, me? Well, <laughs> well, with this one, I have the upgraded Girl's hard drive. Do what she does. 250 okay. gigs. So 250. 250 gigs. I have an upgraded RAM to 1 gig DDR2. Mm -hmm. And then I believe, I don't think it's an upgraded video card, but the upgraded screen to the 20 inch. And that ran me with the Apple three year warranty and everything, it ran me about 2200 after taxes. 2200 is really good for a system like that. I mean, <gasps> especially since Steve does, mentioned Does that mean me, I can have one? 2200 is more than I ever make. Oh. That's my yearly salary, Deb. <laughs> so I'm not sure, but 2200, so much? but for a system like this, I mean, 2200 with a three year warranty, I think that's unheard of. Now, how's the warranty work? Yeah. I know you've not had to use it yet, mm -hmm. but how's the warranty work? I believe if the, anything happens to your Mac, you can just send it in and they'll either replace the part for you or they'll replace the whole unit for you. Sweet. DVD burner on so you can back up all your data. DVD burner. Uh -huh. And 250 isn't too bad when you're doing video because mm -hmm. I know video takes larger file formats yeah. and so forth. But you could add another 250 gig external drive to this yeah, if you wanted I, I to. Yeah, I have one actually at home. I have a 150 gig I plug in all the time. Right on. You know, it's funny space. because we actually purchased a 250 gig drive, and I think it cost me $99 mm -hmm. in an external casing. So drive so, uh, space and, and price has gone down a lot. Oh, way down. You said right now you're running one gig of DDR2 yes, RAM. Yes, that's correct. Can you upgrade that now and go up to four gigs? Um, I believe the maximum an iMac, this one will have two. is two gigs. And it's fairly simple. Like, there's just a little panel you pop off and slip in the RAM. Nice. But you can there, pop that's it in. about the only thing you can upgrade after you buy it. I haven't nice. seen anything in what you've been working on so far that tells me that you're going to need more than what you have right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steve, I want to thank you for making Deb's week, our <laughs> week in general. Well, Steve works with us on a regular basis, but next week, Deb bids a bigger one, or builds a bigger one than I do. <laughs>